flies are there? I killed like 17 before we started filming. <laughs> are we ready? Hey, I'm Emily and this is The Way We Hunt. Today I'm going to show you how to make venison stuffed back strap. Okay, so the first thing you need is venison back strap or some type of deer. We've marinated it for about an hour. Doesn't really matter what marinade you want. Just remember you're gonna be putting all these other ingredients in. Sorry, stupid fly. So this has been marinating. Now we're gonna use bacon. We're gonna wrap that on the outside of it. Prosciutto. Prosciutto is gonna go on the inside. Salted pork, it's amazing. Spinach. Spinach is also gonna go on the inside because you know, vegetables or that is a spinach vegetable? Anyway, and then the star of the show, bacon ranch cheddar dip. We usually use jalapeno artichoke dip, but our local grocery store can't keep it in stock. So we're gonna try this one instead. And then of course, Everglade seasoning because that, well, that literally all we use is Everglade seasoning pretty much because it's Everglades. All right, let's get the pound of meat. All right, so we're gonna take this back strap out of this marinade and I'm gonna flatten it out. I've already cut it on the inside. Yeah, look at that. Already cut it inside like that. See that? That looks really great. All right, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some saran wrap. I'm gonna put it over the top of it. I'm gonna use a meat mallet and I'm going to flatten it out a little bit because we're gonna put our ingredients inside. What a cluster. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna make it fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It looks fine. Yep. All right, you can use a spiky side or you can use a flat side. I'm gonna use a flat side and I'm not trying to, I'm going to try not to get the camera. All right, and we're just gonna beat it flat. This also helps tenderize it. All right, so saran wrap is on top for two reasons. One, to keep the marinade from getting literally on everything. Flies really like it. It is also there to help you from tearing through the meat. Which I just learned. <laughs> oh, that was a huge fly. Did you see that? That was like a Boone and Crockett fly. Hold on, oh gosh. All right, we gotta do some, we gotta do some fly stuff. Go away. Oh no, we had a misfire. Oh no, we still have a misfire. Yeah. Okay, back to the meat. Oh my gosh, it's doing a terrible job of keeping the marinade in. I think it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, buddy, look at that. That looks fantastic. Great marinade, okay. So this is only the second time I've made this. Ryan usually does it. So I'm gonna make it kind of however I want to make it. And he's gonna love that. Uh, let's use Everglades first. Yes, yeah, we got it. We're gonna sprinkle with some Everglades seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you want if it's Everglades. Because you're wrong if it's not Everglades. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can use whatever, whatever you want. I'll, I'll forgive you. So let's see, I want to do the dip first because it'll be easier to spread on for me. And then I'll probably do the prosciutto and then the spinach. Okay. I brought this out here for a fly thing. It's not working. All right, so first I'm gonna put the bacon ranch dip on the bottom and then I'm gonna do the prosciutto. I'm gonna do healthy servings because if a little bit comes out in the grill, that's fine. It's just seasoning, right? All right, I think that's probably gonna be good enough. All right, I'm using my fingers. It's probably gonna upset some of y'all, but you know, it's fine. I don't care. I don't care if I upset you. You're not eating it, I am. Oh yeah, that looks freaking amazing. Look how good that is. Dude, and this stuff smells amazing. I mean, it's bacon, ranch, and cheese. I mean, what can go wrong? It can't get any better than that. Oh. Yum. All right, set that aside. Put that over there so the flies don't eat it. I'm gonna get some prosciutto now. I'm sure there's a fancy word 
or fancy thing to say about prosciutto, but I'm pretty sure it's just salted pork. But, oh my gosh, it's not coming apart very easy. I think I let it get a little... Oh, there's little plastic thingies! Oh man, it's just coming apart. Look at that, this is a disaster. This is why Ryan usually does this. This is fine. We'll just do chunks of prosciutto instead of layers of prosciutto. Yeah, it's still gonna taste good. Oh my gosh, it's so stuck. Oh yeah. Still, oh there's two pieces of plastic. Wow, this is such a thing. It's fine. It's gonna be worth it though. Oh my gosh. It's a chunky. Oh look, that looks like that's fine there. Oh, you guys with OCD are gonna lose your minds watching me do this. This is awesome. Pause on all of it, and it's just not going on real evenly. I'm pretty sure Ryan's having a stroke right about now behind the camera. You can see his face right now. Oh yeah, this is totally worth it. He's never gonna let me cook again. But it's gonna be so good. Oh, it is like so stuck. Yeah. Oh, I finally got one long piece. Look at that, finally. And of course it's too wide. It's fine, it's, we're just gonna double it up. We're gonna be rolling it anyway. Oh, there's another decent piece. I'm getting better, I'm getting better as time goes on. And I gotta cut it anyway, it's fine. It's done how to be perfect. It's just food. It's, it's gonna take all this time to do it and we're gonna eat it in like seven seconds. That's pretty much how life is, right? Put all this work into stuff and it only, it only lasts a short period of time. Oh, yeah, he told me to do it the other direction. Just, oh yeah, there we go. I feel like that's good enough. Look how, look how terrible that looks. And it's gonna taste amazing. If it looks terrible, it's gonna taste amazing. And you know what, we need a little bit of that green stuff. Yeah, that green stuff. I don't think this is considered a vegetable. Leafy greens, we need some leafy greens. Okay, some spinach. Yeah. Gosh, if you guys are chefs, you're definitely not subscribing to this channel. Definitely do not like the negative OCD I have right now. Because it's gonna be so good. So good. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that cluster. It's gonna be so, it's gonna be amazing. We'll put some more green here. All right, now we're gonna wrap it. We're all know we're gonna roll it. And that's gonna be another cluster. So stand by and watch this disaster happen. I don't even know how to do this. I did this the other day. So we had to pause, because apparently I was doing it wrong. And I have to lay string out underneath it, and then we're gonna overhand tie it, which is not what I did the other night, and it still worked out fine. Sorry, it was fine. Go away. Anyway. I was doing it wrong and now I'm gonna do it right, okay? Still did it wrong, but we're gonna figure it out. One eternity later. So we've taken a bunch of bacon, we've laid it out underneath the back strap, use as many pieces as you need. And then what we're gonna do is just literally lay it over the top like this. You want it touching so that there's really good bacon coverage. Because the more bacon, the better. Then I'm gonna take some of my string that I've kind of pre-cut. I'm gonna wrap it around the back strap and the bacon. Kind of keep it all together entwined. Gonna keep the flies away. Keep going. Get a little bit of bacon overlap, that's fine. If you really like crispy bacon, you can always throw it in the broiler at the end or if you've got a grill that gets really hot, you can turn the heat up really, really high at the end and crisp the bacon up. So I'm just gonna take this twine, roll it up underneath here like this. I'm just gonna do an overhand knot on it. I'm gonna continue doing this until I've gone all the way down. And all that's gonna do is help keep everything snug inside and the bacon on top. And at the end, when it's all grilled, you can just take some scissors or a knife and cut the twine off.
So we're going to take some Everglades cactus dust and we're going to sprinkle it over the top. It was an ingredient yep, go away, that I didn't talk about earlier, but it's just going to give it a little bit more flavor and it's going to look pretty on top. We trim those ends off of the twine so that it's easier to manage when we go to flip it and cut it off. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back strap and we're gonna smoke it on the Rectech for about 30 minutes. Uh, it just fits in there just perfect. All right, we'll see you in 30 minutes. So we've been smoking our back strap at 200 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna turn it up to 350 degrees and we're gonna cook it to about 135 degrees. Ryan likes it a little bit more well done than I do. And it's super simple on this grill that we just got. You literally just press the up button until you get to 350 and that's it. Here's a meat probe that actually comes with the grill so that we can actually see the internal temperature of the meat without having to use one of our own thermometers. See that really great color on the bacon right now? That's gonna be so good when this is done. Okay, so we're sitting at 135, 136 degrees. I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna put it in some full, and I'm gonna tint it and let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes so that the juices go back up into the meat. Oh wow, look at that. I literally have no eyeballs now. That looks so good. Pull that out, set that to the side. the bacon off. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It is nice and hot. Rescue bacon. Rescue some insides. Alright. I'm gonna close this up. Oh yeah. That looks really good except for the part that I destroyed but that's fine. Okay so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna take this full off. Wow, look at that. The first thing that we're gonna do is cut the string. That's the bacon that I messed up earlier. I pulled it off. Pull that string off right there. Okay, I just cut the string. Now I'm just gonna remove the string from all of it. Wow, it's really juicy. Charlie's griping in the background. He's saying hi. Oh, that's bacon. There's a string. Okay, well, there's another string. I think that's good. All right, let's see what this looks like on the inside. Oh wow, that looks so good. Man, it's gonna be so juicy and tender. Okay, it's finally time to eat. This looks pretty bomb. Get a little bit of everything, a little bacon. Trying to get some bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Alright. Mmm. Yeah. Charlie wants some. It's so good. You guys are missing out. You have to make this recipe. 
Okay, I'm gonna continue eating. We'll see y'all later. a few countries hunting and fishing and now we want to take you on those adventures with us and if you stick around we're going to try to share some tips and tricks with you so hopefully you can do the same thing so check us out <laughs> 